Hey guys, in this video I'll be drawing Howl and Calcifer from Howl's Moving Castle. So I usually start off with just sketching the character, of course, so just very lightly, very just getting the idea out. The, the way how typically artists do with um, getting their ideas out and just working out the little nuances of the sketches and what they plan to paint. Um, I was trying to figure out if I wanted to have hands in there or not and I decided not to have hands anyway as you can see in the first part of the video. I just wanted to have Calcifer um, in house chest like because of I don't want to throw any spoilers out there for anyone who hasn't seen the movie but um, Calcifer is actually holding Howl's heart so he's going to be in the middle of his chest area for a weird symbolism in that. So like I mentioned in my last video um, with Ash and Pikachu I have been drawing for a few years. I meant to say I've been drawing for more than a few years. I've been drawing all my life basically ever since I could pick up a pen I just would sketch little stick figures and little people and I just I remember back in the day I loved to watch Sailor Moon and other types of animes like Pokemon and Dragon Ball Z and Sonic and everything like that all those cartoons that come on early in the morning or after school like at three o'clock in the afternoon and it would be just awesome to let my imagination go and so that's what inspired me to want to learn how to paint and draw and I've just been doing that ever since I was a little kid. And so I eventually went to art school and I learned how to paint for real. Like with actual critiques and getting better and um, learning how to do things a little bit more realistically. Um, but in that I've always loved to do things a little bit more cartoonier. Or is that just the essence of my um, artisthood if I could call it that. It's just the way how I like to draw the way how I like to paint and I really am finding this out about myself as I do a personal day challenge of making a painting a day it's just I take one idea and I work on it and I work on it until I'm, I am completely done and I'm well satisfied with it and I allow myself to just upload it to social media and see what happens um, and this howl drawing is a part of that personal challenge and with that personal challenge I'm just finding out a whole lot more about myself and what I like to do when it comes to making my art um just I really like to paint loosely and then work my way in with a certain confidence with thickness of the lines and everything knowing what I want to do with it exactly after I established it in the drawing and, and it's helping me be more sure of myself and I find that quite enjoy enjoyable this journey has been very rewarding in its own way and I don't have an end limit like a certain day when I'm gonna stop out probably just keep going for probably like a week or two maybe even a month and I see where it goes it's just I started it because I realized I didn't have a lot of content out there to build a fan base and I really look forward to becoming a youtuber which everyone could look up to and look forward to see videos from. Like I've always wanted to be a little bit more popular online. And I realized I haven't put the work in for it. So I'm like, let me do a drawing a day of fan art or original art. And let's see what happens. Let's see what someone, if someone likes this. Like, hopefully you guys do. I would love it and appreciate it. If you, like, actually liked what I did. <laughs> and I actually have like a few people who like my drawings and stuff but if I were to able if I were able to reach a larger audience of people and they say they love my stuff or they like it and and they're just cool enough to give me a critique that will help me out like I'll appreciate it so much but I'm just now starting off with this personal challenge and it's just helping me get my foot in in the door as people would say Okay, so as now you can see that I'm just painting in the darker scenery around Howl and Calcifer. And it's because, you know, Calcifer is made of fire, so he's going to be having a um, sort of light to him, of course. 
and I also wanted to have that darkness around there to bring contrast and you know help that have a good bounce off in the center focal point of the drawing where you can focus on the area where calcifer is and how it's lighting up areas of Hal's chest and his face and everything and his hair you know just to keep it smart because <laughs> I was going to do it flat and I'm like hold on wait isn't calcifer lighting up isn't he made of fire so he will light up the area it was um really weird I have to really be intelligent in my choices <laughs> um when I'm painting sometimes I'm just painting without a brain sometimes I'm just throwing the colors around and just seeing doing what I feel and if things look right I'll work with it and then but sometimes you gotta step in there with an, a certain amount of logic and actually think about what you're doing and that's something I've learned with this personal challenge of making a drawing a day um, I'm able to really think critical of what I'm what I'm doing with my art now as long as as well as getting faster and more confident in the, in the um, marks I make and I'm very happy with what I'm doing here it's making me feel really good as an artist and I just can't wait for the next day's challenge and the day after that and and I really do hope that I'm inspiring someone out there to do the same who may not have been as confident in their drawings or before you know like one of those people like I can't draw a circle <laughs> like yes you can all you have to do is focus yeah now there's no real reason why I drew Calcifer sleeping I don't even know if that guy sleeps because I know he's like a fire demon in the movie and he's always working on moving the castle and stuff so it's like does he ever take a break that's my question to myself while I was painting and I'm like I want a very peaceful look with this painting um in Calcifer with his eyes closed well with being asleep it looks very peaceful you know he's just a little ball of flame just chilling out <laughs> a ball of flame chilling out mm. yeah that reminds me when Sophie throws water on him he really chill chills out then <laughs> okay um yeah I'm a weirdo all right so yeah just drawing him being asleep I was like does he ever really sleep I don't know I'm gonna just keep painting this out and figuring out what I'm doing here and working with and working with the painting and see what happens um like I said sometimes I go in without thinking and it's because some I, I can really over you can really overcomplicate things if you think too much when you're drawing like um having like too many thoughts in your head can really mess you up and make you lose your concentration and your will to keep a picture going um if you're thinking too much about what other people are going to say about it when they see it or if you're thinking too much about what other people might think or how they will feel about it instead of thinking on what you want it to look like and what you feel and what you think about it um then you're going to lose your way and, and losing your way is not a good idea it's not a good way to go so sometimes it's better to just focus on what you want for a painting and be critical of course of what you're doing like always check what references about with um what you're working with and make sure the anatomy is right or make sure it at least feels right if you're confident in what you're doing uh, and you make sure like the color is working well and not muddy like a little too brown or too even too dead looking you always want to pick good colors to use um yeah you, you just make sure you know what you're doing and that you're not being not being too hard on yourself with thinking about everything because generally that's what i do like i always that's what's held me back for so long i always would sit down and think about what other people think and i'll look at videos by real professionals and i'm thinking and i'll think about how if they saw my artwork they would hate it like and that makes me a loser or something and then no no it doesn't no no it just it means I gotta work hard got to aspire to their level because they're doing their thing and they were at a place where I was once once upon a time and it's only natural to to start off as an intermediate 
but you will eventually grow as you keep working at it. And that's the great thing about being an artist is because like with every other life lesson, you will grow. It's a bit of a guarantee, especially if you're serious about it and you keep working at it every single day. Um, when you get free time, work on it. You know, on the lunch break, work on it. Just grab that little sketchbook you can have in your pocket and just draw what you feel and then watch yourself build a portfolio, a decent amount of work over time as it goes. Of course, you're going to have bad days and you're going to have good days, but it will be a gracious experience to see yourself become something a whole lot different than you were in the beginning. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope to make more in the future. Um, share, like, and subscribe as YouTubers say. And have a great day. Peace.